Hey guys, it's FIFA Relic here and welcome to episode 84 of Last FIFA 14. And we sold on a few players on our transfer list. Uh, a few of them were from the packs we opened in the last episode. And a few of them were from uh, from old squads basically. And I decided to sell on the Terap squad as well. Of course we keep the skillers. And then I went on to build a new team. And it was going to be around one of the new transferred skillers. I guess it was from last week. And that is uh, the transferred Moreno. He does link quite nicely up with Fiddle Mat Martinez. However, I did try him out in a squad alongside with Phil Martinez on stream and it's a lot of fun to play with But I just wanted to try out something a little bit different So uh, I decided to play in a 4-2-3-1 formation and uh, I got Ramirez and Mike and later to link up with Moreno We get a mix of Serie A and Premier League defenders. We actually pick up Basakli. I thought of actually picking up Kilini, but then I realized I already had him in my other squad and I decided to go with Bastakli instead. Then we have company uh, into the defense as well. We get Courtois, the transfer version in the net and finally Clichy on the left back. So that will pretty much be the squad. We pick up two position modifiers just to get Moreno into that center attack mid position where we're going to play him and that will pretty much finish off the squad and goal. We do have the transfer Courtois as I said and he is one of the better keepers on the game and yeah he is guarding the net. Then we have a company big, he's strong, he's fast, good defending and heading stats. Clichy on the left back to link up with him. On the other center back spot, Basakli, I couldn't really go with Kalinia or Bonnet because they're in my other squad. Bonucci was also an option, but I decided to go with Basakli. And then Congo on the right back, medium, medium worker. It's good at pace and all round solid stance. We've got Pielo on the center, deficit mid spot, a very good passing, decent dribbling. And we'll see if we can create something with him from that spot. Now, moving on. Move on to the other center deficit mids, but we do have Ramirez, and uh, he is there to be a bit of a link up player with Michael Leder and, uh, and Moreno. He got some decent stats, a high attack work rate, a medium defensive work rate, but I think it works out all right when we got two defensive mids. Michael Leder on the center attack mid with the five star skills, the same thing applies for Moreno, another five star skill up. And we're giving him a go there. And uh, finally, uh, on the third center attack mid spot, we do have Diego. He's not that fast for a wide center attack mid. But he got some good dribbling, decent passing, four-star skills. And we'll see if we can create something with him. And he's mainly there to link up with Neymar, who is on the top with the five-star skills. Of course, five-star weak foot. And he is probably going to be the goal scorer of the squad. And I, I decided to play this squad in the Championship Tournament uh, just to give it a go. We're going into the semifinals of... Of that tournament and will eventually match up against an opponent it took a little while of searching but eventually I said I would find one he played the 3-5-2 formation a mix of a bit of Brazilian and then Bundesliga and Serie A players and I get my first chance here with Moreno in the first minute able to get into the box try out a shot but it is straight on the keep unfortunately we get another chance we find an open Diego here on the other wing he stops up a few skill moves here before he makes his way into the box gets a shot in but we hit the defender and instead it is my opponent's Diego with a lovely little finesse shot into the far corner to make it 1-0. I tried to volley with Diego but couldn't get enough power on it into the far corner. It remained a 1-0. Another chance. Diego on the ball. A little bit longer to get it with Neymar but he blocks it off with a slight tackle. And at half time it was pretty even on the stats. So we continue into the second half and I didn't create much and he didn't create much in the second half. It was... It was a bit of a midfield battle, I guess. I got a few chances towards the end, and then in the 90th minute, I get extremely lucky. It's one of those goals that just shouldn't have been there, but I took the goal. I got the goal, made it 1 1, and as you can see, not much stuff happening into the second half. So we go into extra time. I tried out a shot with Clichy, and I thought I'd won it all there with a beautiful long shot, but it hits the bar, unfortunately. Another chance with Neymar trying to chip the keeper, but he'll save it. And as I was changing play and trying to shoot, I end up with another chip, and in the and we're all the way into the penalty shootout and this guy he knew me and he knew exactly where I was going to shoot so he was able to save my first shot and I got a really bad start to the penalty shoot I got lucky on my second shot uh, I took the shot the same place and he almost saved it but lucky for me I was able to save his shot bring it all even and Mike on later he would get a goal for me to put the pressure back on my opponent he steps up with Diego and I will save it with Courtois, and I uh, I got into the lead. We get another goal there uh, with our Diego to put the pressure on him. He has to score, and he will do so indeed. But I can win it all if I scored with Ramirez, and I do that to win the penalty shootout after a quite tough game. A very good opponent I was up against. I had a tough time breaking him down, and 
I got a very lucky to score a 90th minute goal. On the stats, uh, he didn't create much after the first half. I didn't create the best chance. I got a few chances, but not really good enough to, to get me a second goal in the game. So... Uh, I made my way into the final with the squad, but I didn't really feel the attack work that well. The defense, I felt, was quite solid, but the attack, I felt, was not the best after the first game. I hope for something better into the final, and uh, we get our first chance here in the 26 minutes. We ran on the ball, he placed it on through to Neymar, I tried for the chip, but he will save the shot, unfortunately. We get another chance in the 36 minutes, and Bermuda is playing it around, getting it back, breaks on through. I tried for the shot, but he would save, unfortunately, and two minutes later, he will cross it in. He did that all game, and unfortunately, it falls to Gomez, who can hit it in and make it 1-0, and that was pretty much all for the first half. He had three shots, zero on target. I don't know how that's possible when he got a goal. But yeah, he had one more shot than me and he was up 1-0 and into the second half, he breaks on through, he'll pass it across and Quadrado will bring him up at 2-0. But pretty much straight after that, it's Neymar on the ball, he's able to get a shot and bring me back into the game to make it 2-1. But unfortunately, late into the game, he got a shot in and the rebound fell to Gundogan who will make it 3-1 and that was pretty much game over. I got a chance with Neymar here in the 90th minute. But I couldn't convert it and I end up losing the game 3-1. to one. It was definitely tough creating something with the 4-2-3-1 formation. I'm not too sure what it was. Maybe it was just my opponents being very, very good. Or maybe it was just the formation not working out for me. I don't know. But I didn't want to end this episode off on that game and losing the final. So I went on into the season warm-up cup with our Ronaldo Ibrahimovic squad. Which so far is undefeated. And we played two minutes. We tried our shot from distance. We pick up a corner. And from there we find Lucas a little over at flick. We take the first time volley and it goes in at the bottom corner. I guess it bounced in off the post after Casillas got his hands to it. And that will bring us up 1-0. Lovely little goal there. We continue on Ibrahimovic on the ball. We actually get a touch to it with Ronaldo. We pick up a penalty. And Ibrahimovic is picked out there by Casillas. But it didn't really matter too much. Because we kept on creating chances in this game. Ronaldo on the ball. Passed several defenders into the box. We try out the shot. He will, however... Go in a slide tackle and block it off. But Ibrahimovic shows up here a few minutes later. He goes past the defenders. 2-0 it is. And we continue on one minute later. Back he'll pass to Ibra. Past one defender. And uh, he will go with the rainbow flick. Try out a shot but not enough power. And after that... My opponent, he decided to rage quit. So I believe half of the games I played with this squad so far made my opponent's rage quit. So it is a pretty powerful team to play with. And this is going to be where we end off this episode. The first game of the next episode will be the final of the season warm-up cup where we will be playing with the Ronaldo and Ypres squad to see if we can get some good goals. But anyways, this is going to be the end. I hope you did enjoy it. We'll be back again tomorrow. And that's all. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.